Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my word, just uh, excuse the hair. Yeah, it's really messy. I just noticed that on the selfie camera. Um, the reason it's messy is because I haven't straightened it yet because I'm going to have a gig this evening. So I want to get it all straightened and fresh for that. But I just whacked it up in this clip. I didn't realise how, you know, sprouty it was. But anyway, just ignore the hair. Look past it, look past it. This weekend is going to be so busy. I have got three gigs lined up. So my first gig is at Castle Social, which is in Norwich. That's tonight. In fact, I need to start getting ready for that in just a moment, actually. Tomorrow, I'm at Newport Club, which is in Hemsby. And on Sunday, I'm singing at one of the bars on the Britannia Pier. So th that's a new venue for me. I'm quite excited about that. In fact, tonight's a new venue as well. So two new venues out of three so it's going to be interesting Fumps was due to have a nap at what time was your nap due half past 10 it's now what time are we on holly i don't know how to play i think we're on half past one so he's a little bit late but he's fighting it he's fighting it you're fighting it tim's not here tim's driving back from weymouth while he's driving back from weymouth I'm trying to get the house sorted as well as get myself ready. I think we're going to overlap as well. So I think that while he's still driving back, I'm going to be going to my gig. So again, we're going to be passing ships. So I'm not going to see him till later this evening. Come and spend the weekend with me. By the way, did I mention I'm working? I know I said I was going to straighten my hair and I sort of did I did kind of straighten the top bit but it's really really hot tonight so I wanted to go for something a little bit more summery than the same old straighten my hair and stuff like that and plus it's just too hot to get the straighteners on and for too long so I got the media hair and makeup expert Holly to come and do me a French plait and I don't think I've had a French plait since I was a kid so she's French plaited it I can't get the camera around the back of my head. Hang on. Anyway. Actually, it's not a French plait. They call it a Dutch plait. So it's a Dutch plait. Hey, Smidge. Say hello to everybody. Say hello. He's waiting for Tim to come home. Holly's sunbathing in the garden. Casper's finally gone to sleep. He went to sleep for his 10 o'clock nap at 4 o'clock. So... Everything's a bit messed up today. Tim has gave me strict instructions to wake him up now, otherwise he won't sleep tonight. And because he sort of got in while I'm at work, um, I suppose I better do that really and be a, be considerate. So I'm now going to go and wake Casper up and then I'm going to get in the Audi and I'm going to go and pick up the sound and lights coordinator, aka Dan. I can't believe it. I'm waiting for him. Usually he sat in his car ready for me picking him up, but he's not actually ready, which is a first. It's usually me, it's usually the other way around. It is so hot tonight. It's really hot. I have to have the AC on in the car because it is that hot. So I purchased a new mixer. Might as well show you while we're waiting. This is it. It's a Yamaha MG06X. It's exactly the same as the one I've already got. So it pained me to buy this, to be honest, because they're 160 quid. Well, I paid 160 quid for this, but I shopped around. If I hadn't shopped around, I could have paid up to 200 for it. And I'm not 100% sure there's anything wrong with my old mixer. So when I go to set my equipment up tonight and there's no issue at all with the mixer, if there isn't, then I could cry because that means I bought this for nothing. So we'll see how we go, but this is my trusty mixer. I suppose it's always good to have a spare, but you know, it's always good to have a spare 160 pound too, isn't it? So we've pulled up and um, I've been told to go to, I've been told to go to deliveries section, section seven, and there's a lift there, which I can get into with my gear, which is gonna take me right up to the food court, which is where the bar is that I'm singing. 
and Dad's investigating. You know what floor it is? The, well, it's three. It's what? It's three. Floor three. Floor three. Okay. Melissa, you found that corner there. All right, brilliant. So you've figured it out. Yeah, I'll say that. Try and it. Um, I don't know. It's uh, half past six, you're only an hour. Better have a beer then. <laughs> Gotta save the king! <laughs> Feliz Navidad. That's Merry Christmas in Spanish. That'll do me. <laughs>
for any of those people that go, it wasn't. I've Googled what they look like, hexagon shape. That's before they're fed. I have done enough research on this before we actually got fed bugs to know. Okay. And what's scary about it is it was so big. I don't want to keep going on about it. Mm. But for all those people going... This is the last you can hear of it now. Up. Well, no, it's not. Not for Gabby, I'm sorry to say. This could be a little bit like the dairy but, situation, can't it? This bed bug thing might but, be a bit like the dairy situation. Like, no, I go on about no, but dairy. I had this anxiety before I found one. Mm. You can back that up, didn't I? I was yes. always paranoid. That's why I that's said why you said, that's why I said at the start of the video, what well, you found a bed bug, like joking. So, imagine your worst fear being realised. That's it. And I know there's more to life and more things to worry about and that, but, yeah, and I agree. But... For me, that is also, yeah, we've said this before, it's because, it's because they just, weirdly, you ask anyone who's ever had an encounter with them, they come out between one and three. It's like they know what the bloody time hour. it is. They the all, people hour. always say it'll be after one o'clock and be, before four o'clock they'll come out and they'll feed and they'll go back to the little cubby, their den, their club. Um, sometimes what's even freaked me out is that I used to think, right, if they're just in the mattress, good. You can check the mattress. Darling. But they're not. They could also be in the car. What am I going on? Well, it's just that I was right, going to... This this was actually going to be, what, a 20-minute vlog and I've only been filming the other stuff for one minute and I've just been filming you what? talking about bed bugs for 19. So you're not going to use this then? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good. I no, need to, no. This is where I can vent. Let, let, can we do a long story vent. short? Long story short. I just want you to know that somebody gave me flowers while I was singing on stage tonight. Someone Why? come up to me and gave me flowers. How does it make you feel? He's not bothered. Well, I am bothered. <laughs> um, I felt like a proper like superstar. I'm, I'd rather receive flowers... Then have tomatoes chucked at me. That's what I want to say. But anyway, bottom line, bed bugs. It was confirmed. We got a refund. They wouldn't have confirmed it and refunded us if it wasn't a bed bug. So there you go. People that don't think it's a bed bug, it was a bed bug. <laughs> it's summer. It's summer. Anything can come flying for the window. I don't know what that was supposed to be. <laughs> Somebody put, it was a wet beetle or a... a a water bit or something like that. And then someone put a comment going, I thought they could only be found in America. Maybe it came in. Well, anyway, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I've got work to do tomorrow. Oh, Mom, what is this? Press the button then. Wow. Wow. What are you pressing, Bubbubs? Well, it's lovely to come home to you. He said, Mummy, play with my toy with me, please. Hey, Mummy. So I'm all dressed and ready for gig number two. I'm going sparkly tonight. It's a Saturday. Saturday night. And it's hot, it's muggy outside, which I can't stand. And just while I've been getting ready, I've just premiered my latest vlog on the creature that shall not be named. And it, it's quite interesting because obviously the comments are coming through a little bit now. And I'd say 90% of them are really nice, but there was a real vicious one that came through saying that they think that me and Tim took the bed bug there with us and that I shouldn't be drink driving with my baby. And I'm like, right. I think it was a little bit out of my system by then. And not that I really would do it much, but you, you know, it's, it's, people do have a glass of wine with a meal. It is okay. And to have it before. Anyway, complete and utter idiot. Some days you get flowers. Other days you get nasty bleeping comments telling you how terrible you are. It's amazing, really. But this person hides behind a dog picture. I feel sorry for the dogs, personally. You get them though, didn't you? There are, there are some amazing people in the world. And then there are some not amazing people in the world. But I'm feeling um, like it's not bothering me. I'm all right. It surprises me. What a name. Why, why would you pick that as your YouTube name? Salty Dog. Sounds 
terrible, absolutely terrible, shocking. I've just pulled up at the venue. I quite like singing here actually because it's not very far from the house, which is always really handy. And my friend runs it with her partner. Well, it's her partner's business and so it's really nice to see my friend every time I come here. So it's a real handy one for me. I like it anyways. Good. Good atmosphere as well. Can be quite busy. Although I don't know what we're going to get tonight. I don't know whether we're going to be busy or not. Sometimes the beginning of July can be a little bit hit or miss and you never really know what you're going to get. But I just take it as it comes and just do what I've got to do. But um, just before I left the house, I was like, I'm getting a really bad stomach ache. And um, that is, that's kind of the problem with this job. So when you feel a bit rough, you can't, you can't cancel it. You just got to carry on. That's one of the hard parts of doing this job. The show must go on. Anyway, I'm here. I need to set my gear up and wait for bingo to finish. And away we go. We have to be quiet. Three, six, six, six. Three and four, thirty-four. I can't even see her. All the threes are thirty-three. Eight and five, eighty-five. It's been a bit eventful because we did have a power cut in the area, so bingo was delayed, which means I'm delayed. So right at the moment we've got Monty the Mouse on stage, living it up. <laughs> But I'll be going on stage in probably about, I don't know, 10 minutes probably, 10 minutes. Here we go. Go on, Corinne. <laughs> <laughs> I love my sheep, slimmer than me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I think it's only right that I have my picture taken with Monty as well, right? We want to know, oh, is that, are you on the vlog, Gabby? I'm vlogging, yeah. Gabby's vlogging, so <laughs> Monty's vlog. So Here wait for everyone. Picture as well, right? Lost, lost in a sea of glass and tin. Give my camera a wave, everyone. But no, so deep in my head, in the back of my jeans. Woo! I grabbed a handful of coins to feed the machine. All right, clap your hands. Here we go. I stand up and play each machine. Seem to say as I walk round and round the arcade. Bells just ring the bell of a big bag of tail. One more time. I'm sweating. That's gone. That's all over. <laughs> sweating. Gabby, you can stand next to me. Um, Keith is not getting away with not being on this dance floor. The night was a penny arcade. Hang on, let me go there and I'm going to film. We need volume. As I walk round and round the penny arcades, just make the bell and the big bell and we make all the colours mistakes. And the music trumpets. Look, I'm the entertainer in. <laughs> <laughs> Music play 
karaoke. It's hard work, this clapping and stuff, isn't it? Yes, it will, and it will, I want to know is where was Corinne when this was happening? Corinne. Where's Corinne? She's Corinne? the DJ. Oh, yeah. Right, we need to do this. Hi. This is Corinne. Mm. <laughs> Someone loves its music in the mornings. I'm on the early shift. Got to start getting ready soon because I've got a gig at two o'clock. I've got to get there for about quarter past one to set up. Drive there, it's only in Yarmouth, so it's not too far. New venue. If you're wondering why I'm whispering, it's because Tim's still in bed. Can't wake him up. So I'm just about to leave to go to my gig and I go and have a quick wee. And then the next thing you know, this little hand comes under the door. Didn't it, Casper? I saw this little hand poke underneath the door. <laughs> Bumpies. Bumpies, come here, darling. Come here, Bumpies. And he's getting the DVDs now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Bumpies. Now I'm gonna have to jump over them to get out of the door. Yep. Yeah. That is a busy boy right there. To be fair, this does happen every day. And then we put them back, and it just happens again. And then we put them back, then it happens again. And then we go round and round and round. but it was really nice and do you know what's even better not that it's ever a problem but it's just a little cherry on the cake really i'm actually home by what time are we now i thought you were gonna say because i've hoovered oh and because tim's hoovered that's always handy but i'm actually home 
and I have a whole evening now with my lover, my husband, Tim, sexy pants Tim, <laughs> just in case you didn't know who my husband was, and I can put my feet up, um, I've been at the chippy, I've got some chips in, Tim's put them in the oven while he's feeding fumps, and yeah, what a weekend, three gigs down, and I've got to do it all again next weekend. But I tell you what, other than being a mother, there's no better job in the world than being a singer. It's so rewarding. Anyway, I do hope you've liked this vlog. Don't forget, hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and hit the ding ding notification bell. And I will catch you soon. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care.